So let's open up and reveal the magnificent view. Oh. Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. My name is Chris. And I'm Catherine. And for the very first time, we have a room here at the Dara. We are so excited to do this room <laughs> tour. This room is crazy. It is awesome. <laughs> so let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. We are in room 37034. As you walk into this studio parlor room, just to the left of the front door, you have a full length mirror. And then you walk right into what is a little kitchen area. You have a two burner built in stovetop. You have a microwave, a bunch of cabinets, which I'm guessing they would provide some utensils and glasses and things like that if at request. There's your mini bar on the left. It does have a note that you can remove things for 60 seconds if you want to look at the ingredients. There's also a menu that has been provided on the tablet. To the right is just a refrigerator where you can store your own items, which is always nice. Nice working sink with a food disposal. A little waste basket under there and some empty drawers, which again, I'm sure they would provide you whatever you need for this kitchen area. You have a two-seater dining area with your ice bucket. Really cool light. I mean, I love this. That is cool. I love this hole with the frosted and then the mirror here. It really opens up the room and makes it feel more spacious. You have some more Light switches over here. You have your curtains to open those up and we'll get to that in a second. But then you have this awesome living area with an, a really nice sofa. Let's see. Yes, it is a pullout. It is a pullout sofa. And I remember I saw some um, extra bedding in the closet. It is pretty comfortable. But then you have this pretty nice sized TV. And to the right of that is a little desk with a chair and a little waste basket. I can already see it has a little drawer with extra. Oh my goodness. It has envelopes and some big paper. If the little notepad and pen aren't enough that they've provided here for you. Wow, sweet, man. I could do some work here. In fact, we could probably both do some work here by putting another chair on the other side because it is open underneath. One person can work there. One person can work here. Very nice area to work. So you do have some shelving here. This is just fake looking drawers, but I don't think you'd probably use those anyway. Here is a nice closet where your iron ironing board, some hangers, the extra bedding for the sofa bed, or if you're just cold and you need an extra blanket, it's in there and it has all been sanitized for your safety. And your luggage rack and your safe. Nice king size bed that looks cozy. Whew. Hmm. Oh yeah. I could take a nap right now, I think, but we have to go eat. So it feels comfy. We'll have to test this out a little bit more later. And we have your phone, two bedside tables with drawers. Oh, those are nice big drawers. I love the lamps, the lighting fixtures in here. You have reading lights here. See? Doing work in bed, maybe. Not us. 
You have some more drawers on this side, just under the TV that faces the bed. And you have your tablet on this side. Now on the other side of the bed, there were two outlets, two regular standard outlets. On this side, you have two outlets as well and two USB ports right at the bottom of the tablet. Now for the restroom area. It does close off and it appears to lock. Yep, it locks. Can totally lock Chris out if I wanted to, but I don't. There's another narrow full length mirror here and another closet if you need your own space for something. Really nice big vanity and I love how this mirror gets down really low because the vanity is so low, I, I dig that. You have your magnification mirror all lit up like that. You have your lotion and bath soap, a couple of glasses. This very interesting shaped tub, which I am definitely going to have to check out. You know we're tub people and we're not both getting in there, I'm guessing. Because the base, you can see, is very, a lot smaller than the outside. It kind of goes out like that. So I don't know how our legs are gonna fit in there. But then you have your toilet area and you notice it is not closed off from the rest of the bathroom. So again, the only door for privacy when you're using the restroom or the shower is gonna be that main door to this entire area. And then you have your sh shower. <laughs> Doesn't seem huge. I don't think we would want two people in here. Yeah, because mm -mm. you know, you're washing your hair and you're elbowing each other. So that's probably someone would have to sit here and wait patiently for the other to be done washing their hair in their body, which we've done before. I'm not opposed to it. I, I got it. <laughs> that is high. Man, this place. Now, for the best part. You won't believe this. Oh, drawers. Oh, there's your hair dryer. Nope. Just the one drawer, so that would be mine for sure. I love putting my stuff in drawers. So let's open up and reveal the magnificent view. Oh, holy cow. This is what it must feel like to, to be in a penthouse. And this view runs the entire length of the room. I mean, from end to end. You can also see part of the Bellagio fountains from this angle. Definitely catch the Eiffel Tower light show and the beautiful lights of the high roller and the mountains. This is the nicest comp room I've ever seen at an M Life property so far. I love being able to see the cars whizzing by without hearing them. It is very quiet. It is very quiet. And that's another thing I think we would say about this property is that there is no casino. Would you consider staying at a place in Vegas that does not have its own casino? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. When Chris says that it's not, there is no casino. Now it is right outside the Aria. So you are steps away from all the action if that is what you're into. But if you do want something a little more chill and you don't want the distraction of what most people come to Vegas to do, um, man, this is it. It's like an oasis. I mean, even if you do want to come here and you want to spend your time on the strip and gamble, you know you're exhausted at the end of the night. This is the perfect place to come back to. I thought the bed was comfortable. I thought the pillows were comfortable and I liked the feel of the sheets and the comforter. Yeah, I thought it was a really comfortable bed. I think it's on the softer side of things. I think it's on the firm side. <laughs> so who knows? Now let's talk about the tub. It is definitely not big enough for two people. There is no way, no how, unless your children 
that two, <laughs> two people are getting in that tub. It was barely big enough for me. The things that surprised me though, there were no robes and there was not a coffee maker. If you are staying and those things are important to you, you might wanna give a call to the front desk and find out. I really feel, and I think we agree on this, is that this is a really great room for one person to pamper themselves in. Absolutely, especially with just one sink in the bathroom. If I was a business traveler, I would be absolutely thrilled <laughs> yeah. with this room. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride. <laughs>